<laughs> wow, beautiful, wow. Saketo is just Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, right? Losing a parent when he was young and then he was adopted by a group of aliens doing odd jobs around the Milky Way? Like, that's 100% intentional, right? Like, I, he, does Toy understand that they are almost close to a decade and a half, 15 years since that original film came out? What the fuck? So uh, yeah, we finally got a bigger deep dive into Sakito's origin, with him losing his parents when he was young and outside of a friend that he had, he never really had anyone really. So when he got the opportunity to pretty much leave Earth with Biondi to become a cleaner, he very much jumped to that opportunity. Here's the thing, right now we don't fully know the context of why the cleaner group kind of arrived to her right now maybe they had a job i don't believe it's the star lord thing because if i can remember correctly yandu came to collect star lord aka peter quill because he's uh ego's son and he hid him away i don't believe sakito is a character he's really that important to a specific character i just believe maybe they just came into earth and Biondi just kind of found him and, S and Sakito kind of said hey I want to join and, and Byun-D is an irresponsible alien and they said uh, okay fine C come with me but yeah, like, this kind of story is interesting, specifically with the context of it's just Star-Lord, but it is weird. Like, no one looked for him, like, he didn't have, like, anyone else. He didn't have any family members, he just had his parents. I, I, I don't see that happening. Like, I get the friend, the friend is like, I don't know, he just disappeared. <laughs> like, like, if he doesn't have a family... Yeah, may may maybe he the friend couldn't really reach out to him, but it's like he didn't have anyone else. Like at least like Star Lord, like in Guardians, I think it was Guardians 2, they actually like show that yeah, like Peter like had some family around him. It's like in Boom Boom it's like oh no, Sakito. The only person that he knew was his best friend, which in the end wasn't the man on the playing card. It's just a trading card that he and his friend used to collect and he stole his card from his friend which kind of kind of uh, kind of evil son come on that's a rare card and you just stole it from your best friend that's that's a dick move and by the end the person that diesel kind of hinted at for uh, sakito that maybe they should reconnect is his best friend which was nice like it felt like oh like the playing card has to have something to do with the person that he wants to reconnect with and it's just his friend it kind of feels underwhelming because like the friend doesn't really have any characteristics it's just like he was a friend friend of his when he was young and and that was it like i don't know but it was great to see sakito outside of him being the cool six ranger like you can really see that he's vulnerable specifically when tyre talks to him and saying hey man like i can still hear that young boy scream like that little kid that screams for help that little kid that screams for someone to reach out and help him and here's the thing no one reached out to you before that but i do i want to help you like that was great like the idea that like you know sakito really was like i'm a cleaner this is what i do like we're not just bad guys we would do anything like that was great like that was a small moment between those two characters that they have a lot more in common than actually not 
which is great. Like, I think Sakito as a character could and probably would be fun with the Boon Boonchers. And I really liked that we actually get to see Sakito really vulnerable, not only when the Hashirian stole his uh, collector's card, but also when the Master of the Week came in and tried to attack the, the factory slash, like, I think it's supposed to be a shop that his best friend works at. And you can clearly see Sakito is like that's my best friend which that's fucking surprising that like they got an actor with almost like exact same kind of like facial like features as like the kid it's actually kind of insane how much they look alike and i love that in the end is like sakito is pretty much like you know what fuck the hashirians my new job it's to clean you up from the galaxy you're a bunch of punks that believe you're a bunch of hot shots which is great like it gives uh, sakito something to do and it gives him way more of a motivation than just like ah you're the bad guys it's like no you attack people for no apparent reason like we were told that the cleaner group they're very much kind of like hey we would take any odd jobs we would pretty much break up fights we would clean up streets they're very much almost like peacekeepers but just they would work for the bad guys if they would pay them which is interesting but uh, yeah like having that moment with Sakito pretty much ditching his old ways of like hey I'm I'm tired of working for you I'm going to do stuff for myself but also for the entire universe which still kind of keeps his very nihilistic point of view of earth because he kind of thinks way more or broader than just I want to protect Earth. It's like no, I want to protect the entire universe. I want the Hesherian gang to disband, and I want to be the person that does that, which is great. And we like get a full-on six members roll call, which was awesome. And then a really great on the ground fight and mech fight, while also like the Boon Boon Classic finally like got an evil version. We actually got to see the Boon Boon Classic car in the evil like paint variation which was really nice but again boon boon killer robo is still a jobber but like i think the coolest part of the episode was in the end where like boon darius and diesel actually get to interact and like diesel will pretty much say hey you got a pretty damn cool team around you and boon darius is like yeah i hope you would join like that was great those two interacting was like oh my god they're interacting face to face it's it it kind of feels that like it maybe would have needed more more build up but tell you if they did interact like an episode before so it's fine and having that like final talk between uh, Sakito and the friend was very touching where Sakito kind of gives him back the card that he stole and it's like hey like I'm sorry but I'm happy to be here and like the friend is like you know you were really in space because it was really tough to reach to you but if you want you can come in because now I own my dad's business do you do you want some some chai tea i'm sorry i'm not going to do the chai tea beat from into the spider verse i'm not going to okay but uh that the ending of the episode was like quite sweet until uh, Xabio came in and said hey this new member of the Boon Boon Girl, we're going to extract a shit ton of information from him about the Shirians which now with like him kind of maybe semi being a part of the team it's going to be kind of interesting to see kind of the uh, the ISA and the Boon Boon Girl really bad head because now it's like okay who do they side with do they side with Sakito? Do they side with the ISA because they worked with them a lot longer or they just kind of try to play Peacekeeper which also would be very interesting but yeah like overall this was a pretty fucking fun episode I actually really enjoyed it so this episode gets an A plus once more so what you found about Boon Boon Jura episode 18 comment below let me know thank you very much for watching the video like the video if you didn't like it already make that subscribe subscribe button a subscribe button and also don't forget only you can prevent forest fires thank you very much and have a great rest of your day bye bye